concerned by reports of unusual Russian military activity near Ukraine. We're monitoring the region very closely, as we always do. We'll continue to consult closely as well with allies and partners uh, on this issue. And as we've made clear, any escalatory or aggressive actions would be of great concern to the United States. for an immediate restoration of the July 2020 ceasefire, and we stand with our partner Ukraine and condemn Russian aggression against Ukraine in all forms. And obviously our European uh, conversations are about shared concern about the reports of this buildup and rhetoric. Действительно, сейчас Соединенные Штаты, их союзники по НАТО проводят незапланированные, вот я хочу это подчеркнуть, незапланированные учения в, на акватории Черного моря. Причем не просто сформирована достаточно мощная корабельная группировка, но используется в ходе этих учений и авиация, в том числе и стратегическая авиация. Пользуется Б-51, это ну, достаточно уже старенькие самолеты, но дело не, не в носителях, а дело в том, что а, у них на борту боевое стратегическое оружие. Это серьезный вызов для нас. don't have clarity into uh, Moscow's intentions, but we do know its playbook. Uh, and our concern is that Russia may make the serious mistake of attempting to rehash what it undertook back in 2014, when it amassed forces along the border, crossed into sovereign Ukrainian territory, uh, and did so claiming falsely that it was provoked. The best way to deter aggressive Russia is to make it clear for the Kremlin that Ukraine is strong, but also that it has strong allies that will not leave it on its own in the face of Moscow's ever-increasing aggressiveness. Mm -hmm.